CI Living, at home in your community. Well, now is the time to dig into those veggie gardens and here to help you get started in any space. It's our Here's the Dirt sponsor, Blaine's Farm and Fleet. We have Miranda Becker hanging out with us. Welcome, Miranda. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me today. Okay, so you have all of the tips and tricks that we need to know to start a successful container garden. So I guess step one, what do we need to get so started? So step one for a container garden is the container. Uh, so you want to make sure that you have the right container to start your garden, uh, the bigger the better. I personally really like a five gallon bucket. Um, though if you go with a five gallon bucket, you do want to get something that is food grade. I did not know buckets even came in different, I guess, grades. Yeah. So that's it, interesting. It depends on what plastic it's made out of. Okay, yeah. so that's important if you're planting vegetables or something Absolutely. like that. All right, then I'm guessing next is the filler. Well, first you want to prepare your containers. Oh, so, what do we so need to first do? you get your containers and then you can then you prepare them. So if you're gonna go the five gallon bucket route you want to make sure that you drill some holes in the bottom uh, kind of like this planter it has the holes ready for you as to where to drill your holes oh so they don't come pre-drilled no no they want you to do it for you or for yourself uh, and you want to do that because you don't want the water to just sit on the bottom of the bucket because okay. um, then your your roots will rot got it um, but once you have those holes drilled in you're going to want to layer before you put your soil in because once you water your plant you don't want all those nutrients and all that soil to come out what are we layering so if you use a bucket like this you already have the layer inside oh but if you're gonna use a five gallon bucket, I recommend a very thin layer of rocks and then landscaping fabric. I've been seeing on TikTok people using um, pool noodles pool to kind noodles. of layer their, their containers. Interesting. So I, I taught you something today <laughs> then, Miranda. Okay, next. The next dirt. is what you put inside. Okay. Uh, so you can get a, um, a potting soil that is for containers already. It already has all the good stuff, like the vermiculite that you need inside, um, so that you just have to buy the bag and no mixing, pre-mixed for you. And this is really good because natural soil comes with a lot of um, vi minerals and things like that that you need. Um, so when you're putting it in a container, it has it all in there for you. We were looking at some pictures there. We saw the vermiculite. That's something you would add to just like regular Regular soil. soil. Yep, regular potting soil if you were going to go that route. All right, now we have to find the perfect spot to yes. put these. Yes, so um, depending on what plant you're going for will depend on if you have full sun or partial sun. Most of the seed packets that I have down here are for full sun, uh, but if you're going to go with the container garden, you just want to make sure that it's on a flat surface. Are, are we too late? to start these kind of containers with seeds? Uh, no, we're not too late. Um, some of them you, you can start earlier, um, but some of them you certainly can start now. Um, and, and, you know, if you do want to start them, do start them now. Yeah, <laughs> probably don't wait any any much longer. Let's talk window um, planter boxes. Yeah. I love those. It's kind of like the maintenance, though, is kind of the difficult part for me, getting to water them um, when some are up higher than others. Absolutely. With containers and window boxes or hanging plants, uh, because they're not in the ground, you do have to water them more often. But the best part about it is because they are contained, you don't have to weed them as much. Ooh, uh, so good that, point. that is that is a big plus for me. Uh, <laughs> I do not like weeding, uh, Same. so I, I'm all for the extra watering that it might take. But if you do have to do some weeding or digging, you've got some great tools down here. Yeah, yeah. Fiskars has some really great tools over here. This one in particular is great for weeding. Um, if you're transplanting any plants or anything like that, this one's really great because on the back of seed packs it tells you how far you need to go into the ground and so this one specifically lets you know um, how far you're digging your hole do you is this one of the tools that will get the, the like the dandelions or the weeds or anything like that it's a very similar tool to that. I mean, as you see, it's forked, so like yes. it will help you get down and pull it up. Okay. Uh, Fiskars does also have another tool where it's a handheld tool where you kind of push and twist. Ooh. And I love that one. That sounds like a legally blonde um, <laughs> moment. Push and twist. <laughs> I love it for your garden. Yeah. Trellises, another great idea. Yeah, absolutely. So um, if you're growing uh, tomatoes, even peppers or uh, cucumbers, zucchinis, you'll want to have some kind of a cage to either support the plant or 
more for it to grow up onto. Uh, when it comes to zucchinis, cucumbers, they want to have something to grow up onto and over. Okay. Uh, so trellises, tomato cages, those are the best way to go about okay. it. Okay, well you um, have a few locations around here in central Illinois. Yeah. So people can connect with you, but these are great tips um, for people to get started on those container gardens. Absolutely. If you want to learn a little bit more about Blaine's Farm and Fleet and, or any of the things that we've um, showcased here today, there was a look at their Facebook page, their website. We'll have all of those links on our website, ciliving.tv.